Okay, guys, welcome to Viking Rogan's channel. Uh, today is uh, July 22nd. Uh, which is a, a very special day in the Norwegian history because uh, on July 22nd, uh, 2011, that means it's uh, 11 years ago. Uh, Norwegian man at the time his name was Anders Ering Breivik. He was from the Oslo area. So anyway, he was um, he was quite uh, determined to 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 make a name for himself and to to punish uh, in his eyes to punish the politicians who had destroyed his childhood. But he grew up. Being uh, even a Norwegian, ethnic Norwegian, he uh, was bullied many times by uh, what we call the multicultural enrichment. So, Anders uh, Bering Breivik, he, he, he developed his own uh, theories, he wrote some manifests, and he actually became a terrorist. Uh, first, he blew off uh, a bomb, a big bomb, uh, outside the government building in uh, Oslo, in downtown, using a van. And he, he, it was a big homemade bomb. And several people got killed there. I don't have, I don't remember all, all the details, but um, the country was in shock. And after that bomb had been set off, uh, he traveled to a place called Utøya. Which is a fresh uh, water island, and that island has been used for many years by the Labour Party youth, uh, the youth uh, division. So they had uh, for many years they were gathering there in, in July, obviously, uh, and living in tents and enjoying, you know, uh, teenagers basically and having fun, and then some of the leading politicians from the party would join uh, and inspire them and so forth. So what Anders Bering Breivik did, he, he got up there and he was dressed in full military armor and he had a, a gun, probably several guns, I don't recall all, all, all the stuff. He managed to get on the, the boat, uh, travel to Utøya. I think it would be like a 10 minute ferry boat ride on that uh, lake. And then he just started to shoot and kill whoever he, he came across. So, there were so many young people, also, of course, maybe some more adult people. And he just killed them in cold blood, and it, it really shocked uh, the nation of Norway and the whole world. So, um, I just want to, to us to remember this day, uh, this date rather, uh, which is one of the more significant uh, dates in Norwegian history. 